ericmothethmother.com. Let's take a look at the daily chart for NVAX. And we're going to be taking a look at this based on the Mwade Virgin breakout. And I'm going to be providing a link in the description of the video, bringing you back to this playlist where I discuss this method in details. So if we take a look at this daily chart, we can see that there was a period here where we have a flat 200-day moving average. We also have a flat 50-day moving average. Now, based on this method, which is my method, in a sense, not that I own it, but what I'm trying to say is that it's something that I researched and came up with. The only way, after you've had these moving averages go flat, so let's think about this. You have two flat moving averages. The only way they can coil up is only one way, is with a immediate strong price action. Now, so we take advantage of that potential move by using the closing high while we have a flat moving average. Here we have both of them. So I would take this daily closing high as my pivot or as my buy point and use that as the breakout level. The other option is because we also have another daily closing high right there while we have a flat 200 day moving average you can also use that if you want to be a little bit more aggressive either of them are legit and that's also a quality breakout you can also use this daily closing high because this is the daily closing high while we have this flat period here so either of these entry levels are legit it just depends on whether you are using the flat 50-day moving average or you are using the flat 200-day moving average but all of them are legit if you use that as your entry what you're saying is you are anticipating that the moving averages want to coil up and as we know mathematically the only way they can coil up is by prices closing higher day to day so that they can influence the moving averages so technically speaking this most recent breakout we are seeing here is not a more the virgin breakout as per the description and understanding so yes even though this is a breakout but it does not fit in the box of what we are using here as the more the virgin breakout because we don't have any flat moving averages here there's no flat moving averages so one more time the only area where we have flat moving averages is this period here this is where we have the flat moving averages which means we could have used either of the buy points we discussed either this one or this one or this one and those are the ones that meet the minimum requirements for the Moade Virgin breakout. And if you bought during any of these moves, you are still positive as far as the swing trade is concerned. Remember, the only way the moving averages could have coiled up is prices need to explode and they need to hold the gains. They need to hold the gains because that's the only way that the moving averages can move higher. Why? Because moving averages are calculated based on daily closes. So the daily closes have to hold so that the moving averages can start coiling to the upside. And that's why you take advantage of flat moving averages by buying the breakout that take place above the highest daily close when the moving averages are flat. Again, take a look at the link that I'll be providing in the description of the video that's going to explain this method in detail. This is ERIC Moade with Moade.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E.
I see. S. And so it is. Mwah. Woo.